What's up everybody on YouTube, AJ Rest back to discuss another video and you see the title. Today we're going to be talking about Derrick Rose officially retiring from the NBA. So bittersweet, I'm not going to try to have too many cuts in this video, but man, he's been my favorite player since 2008 when he was the youngest player in the league. I was around six years old then. Um, it's just so crazy, man. Seeing him play in person a lot, like a few times. I'll show some B-roll, of course, and a lot of clips and I have a lot of merch too, starting with this shirt I have on right here of D-Rose. And then also, I have a poster that I'll show you on in a second. You can see right there. Yeah. And then just so much stuff. I mean, the D Roses right here. Christmas ones from 2015. I remember wearing these a lot. Still hooping them because I got them big when I was younger, so I can still wear them now. Also, I have just a lot of jerseys I'm going to show you all real quick. And of course, the Chicago D Rose jersey. This is a Christmas jersey from 2015. Um, even in Cleveland, I even got that one too. I didn't get the Timberwolves one um, or the Grizzlies or Pistons one. And this is the first stint with New York. And then I just got like a bathing ape one too to honor him. But yeah, man. And you knew this day was gonna come of course one day. Uh, I just didn't anticipate it. I saw that he was released of course a few days ago from the Memphis Grizzlies. And then yeah, you saw the post last night teasing it potentially. And I kind of knew he was retiring from that. And then earlier this morning, woke up around 6 a.m. Central time, that's my time, 7 a.m. Eastern time, saw that he officially retired. It's so bittersweet, but you know it had to happen. And a lot of people are gonna, you know, have the conversation of, oh, is he a Hall of Famer? All of that. Well, what I have to say to that right now is there's a lot of people who have uh, less of a resume than him and are in the Hall of Fame. It's not the NBA Hall of Fame, it's the Basketball Hall of Fame. So D. Rose, the youngest MVP in NBA history, three-time All-Star, FIBA World Champion, things of that nature, rookie of the year. We already know he was on pace to be one of the greatest guards of all time. And of course, injuries derailed him. And even afterwards, he was still a really good player. Like that 2014-15 season when he had that buzzer beater against the Cavs, had a good playoff run then. Ultimately, the season after the Bulls weren't that good. They missed the playoffs and then they just blew things up. But yeah, man, just I think that, of course, there's the what ifs if he didn't get injured, potentially greatest point guard of all time and all that. But Everything happens for a reason. And honestly, his injuries and how he persevered through them and still returned in ways at that 50 point game in Minnesota in 2018 is really a testament because I really wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, of course, I would have loved to see D Rose get a ring, be one of the greatest point guards of all time. But in my opinion, he's my MVP forever, my favorite player forever. And he's the reason why I love basketball and why basketball is my favorite. If you look at my channel, you'll see that there's a lot of NFL videos on here recently, but there's a lot of NBA too. And NBA and basketball, that's my favorite sport. And literally, the reason why. Basketball is my favorite sport is because of Derek Martell Rose. And I just hope one day for sure, I mean, as I continue to work to be a sports analyst, sports reporter, things of that nature, I'm able to interview him because that's a huge goal, a huge goal of mine for sure. And I'm sorry if I'm getting a little emotional, just I'm telling you, Derek Rose is the reason why I love basketball, guys. I mean, it's just, it's crazy to like know that he's like not going to be playing anymore. Like, used to be watching his highlights in front of my granny's computer, eight, nine years old, 10 years old, every single day, 11, 12 years old, just watching all the time, get inspired, motivated by it. So it's just crazy to know that he won't be playing basketball anymore, but a lot of great things in store and he gets to spend time with his family, his daughter, Layla, his son, PJ, his son, London, and his wife, Eleni. So I mean, that's a blessing for sure. So it's, it's definitely bittersweet, but Man, I'm just so glad that I was able to, you know, experience a player like him and a person like him for sure. Because, you know, obviously we shouldn't idolize any humans. The person that we should idolize and the being that we should idolize is God and Jesus Christ for sure. And I forever will. But I thank God for the people that he puts in this world and people that he puts to, you know, inspire us, motivate us and, you know, just challenge us and just look forward to things. And I certainly believe in my life for sure for AJ Russ, Anthony Rush Jr. Derrick Rose is for sure one of those people. So I'm just... I'm just grateful that I was able to watch his career from being young, six years old, and now being 22 years old, just turned 22 a couple months ago. I mean, it's just a blessing. It's definitely bittersweet and sad. Oh man, but I'm just, I'm just grateful for sure. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much mostly what I wanted to say. I'm just a huge thank you to Derrick Rose. And one day I'm just speaking into existence. I will interview him. I mean, he's my favorite player of all time, um, for sure. I mean, of course I love Kobe too. Um, and right now current players, Devin Booker and Luka now, because you know, the guys retire. I would always say my favorite three players in the league, Derrick Rose, D Book, and Luca. But now it's just D Book and Luca because D Rose retired. But yeah, man, it's it's crazy. D Rose forever. You're a Chicago legend. Everyone in Chicago loves you. Everyone in NBA loves you. I mean, man, just everyone knows how much of a dog he was. Pooh, that's his nickname, man. He's just tough, man. I just, 
Oh man, this is crazy. But yeah, I appreciate y'all watching always. If y'all are new to the channel, hope you all subscribe and like and turn on post notifications. I hope y'all enjoyed the video regardless. Like I said before, Jesus loves you. You matter. You have purpose. Y'all have a good one. And yeah, D-Rose, thank you so much, man.